Chances are you have tried playing pickleball recently. Deanie found it is the fastest growing sport in the country and Utah is a hot spot. Oh yeah, Utahns are crazy about pickleball. But what's not growing as fast as the sport? Court space where you can play it. And in many Utah communities, that has created pickleball turf wars. It has the height, zero, zero, one. the thousands of fans, nice, let's go. and the quarter million dollar payout of a major tournament. Yeah! Come on! It's not Wimbledon or the French Open. Oh, one, one. This is St. George, and this is a pickleball tournament. This is absolutely amazing having the PPA here in the community. PPA. Professional Pickleball Association. Started in Utah, seven of the world's top players live in Utah. I mean, we have the best pickleball players in the world that are out here playing. Utah's been identified as a hot spot. And like tennis turned pickleball pro Callie Smith, they can earn six and seven figure salaries. So it took me a while to adjust. So once I got that down, I felt like I could beat anyone on the court. But she and every other player told us it's not about the money. It wasn't so much the game, it was the people. The beauty of the sport is that it's everybody can play. It's my heart. I love it. It is one of the fastest growing sports in, in America. It's like this whole big family growing bigger and bigger and just spreading. And if, in my opinion, if we can spread the joy around the world, why not? Hold on a minute. Uh, why not? That's a loaded question. He's talking about court space. Pickleball participation nearly doubled last year alone according to the Sport and Fitness Industry Association. And that leads to turf wars in Utah, as tennis courts get remarked and players volley for space. Are there enough courts to go around? We're trying to do the best we can to satisfy both user groups in getting that court time and able to play. Indoor space is prime real estate for communities where snow covers outdoor courts much of the year. Park City's Municipal Athletic and Recreation Center put up nets in indoor basketball courts. Pickleballers don't want those. I think they're looking for, you know, more, more access to play pickleball on this, on this surface. Pickleballers took to editorial pages and city council meetings to demand equal access. The battle now pits tennis and pickleball for the same courts. Access has become such an issue, David Dobkin has made it the platform for his run for Park City Council. He's proposing turning a park and ride lot into temporary pickleball courts. It has become a little bit of a political issue. To try to serve up a solution, Park City tested a pilot program to put tennis players and pickleballers under the same dome. Can they coexist side by side? Um, we'll find out. Here's what's causing the racket. And then the noise factor, right? Pickleball is very noisy. You know, he's playing on the outdoor courts here, uh, and tennis players are right next door, and they came over and asked us to be quiet. It's difficult to hear the ball off your opponent's racket. Besides noise is numbers. A tennis court with two players could accommodate eight pickleballers. You're gonna have a lot more people playing pickleball and make better use of that space. I think the tennis community has been put in somewhat of an awkward position having to defend their sport. Many other cities have found themselves in a similar pickle. This league in Bluffdale has dedicated courts. Many others play on remarked tennis courts, while county leaders scramble to build more. They post rules to share the courts and rotate play, but organizers say those rules get ignored. Clubs on Salt Lake City's west side have loudly complained all the courts are on the east side. Draper, Sandy, and St. George are all adding more pickleball courts. Dozens of additional courts all over the valley are creating another turf war. We play six mornings a week. These gyms were once reserved for iconic ward ball, but now sport pickleball lines and nets. Well, I think it's an up-and-coming sport. And have become home for regulars like the BS Picklers. Just so you know, it really stands for Brookstone. <laughs> 201. For them, pickleball has become more than a game. It becomes a lifestyle for a lot of people. Unlike tennis, love isn't part of the score. But pickleballers still want to feel it. It's clear, they want their day in court. It's like the internet, you know, it's not going away. Not going away. I found a growing number of leagues and clinics for young people, and organizers hope the High School Activities Association will soon make pickleball a sanctioned high school sport.
Can't we all just get along? <laughs> right? It's kind of like the snowboarders and the skiers. Yeah, I know. I There'll want. always be it's a little bit of that, yep. but hopefully it all... I wonder, yeah. is pickleball easier to pick up, do you think, than it's tennis yeah. is? Yes. And so maybe that's why it's just growing. More people yeah. can, can go right in and play it. Yeah. 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 I bet it'll be a high school sport. You know, Soon. it's going to happen. At some point, right? Anything? Probably at some point. Yeah, yeah. so much enthusiasm.